Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this is the worst fashion advice I've ever heard. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. My first one is don't mix metals. And I actually had a very interesting experience with this. I was at an event and a woman came up to me and she said, this, you know, you're not supposed to be mixing metals. Like this, what you're doing is not right. And I thought, this is really weird. Like, who does that? Like, who comes up to someone and says that? I said, well, I was thinking, don't challenge the fashion knowledge. I said, oh, that's interesting. Because in Vogue this month, they're really doing a beautiful editorial on mixed metals. And it just looks so beautiful. And I think that when you stay in a box and you say, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that, like mix whatever you want to mix, mix silver and gold together, mix rose gold with silver or rose gold with gold or do whatever you want to do. I don't follow that rule. I never have. I wear what I want to wear. I don't even wear a lot of jewelry, but if I want to mix metals and I want to just kind of mix it up a little bit, that's exactly what I'll do. Only make practical purchases. Now fashion is fun. And yes, I completely agree with investing in classic pieces, timeless pieces. But I also agree with keeping a little mad money for those suede pink heels, or maybe a trench coat that's a little bit different, or something that really lights your fire. Maybe it's a statement necklace, or maybe that doesn't seem very practical. You don't really wear statement necklaces, or it's on a color that's a little bit more bold for you. I say, do it. Have these on reserve because you're going to want to bring that out for a cocktail party or maybe it's a cocktail ring that's a conversational piece. I mean, I think these are really staples that you should have. Not a lot, but here and there. I have a couple of vintage pieces that I will pull out for the right occasion and I'm so happy I have them. I mean, they're not practical, but I do wear them and I do love having them in my closet. So think about that. You don't always have to make every single purchase practical. The third one is buy into trends. Now I'm not a trendy person. I don't think that you need to buy into trends. Trends I feel are a waste of money. I think that you can buy your classic pieces, your investment pieces, your vintage pieces on consignment, obviously, but buying into trends, I think it's going to be a disaster. I feel like you waste money. I feel like you don't, it's not really your style, but you're like, well, it's trendy or this is what everybody's wearing or what have you. And then you do it or you say, oh, I should get outside of my box and go into the trends that I see this season. The problem is with that is that you're never going to be able to keep up. They're always showing you something new. And those timeless pieces, those classic pieces are always coming back into play. So if you invest in those, you will always be in some part of the spring or the fall on the runways. You will always be on trend because they're bringing back everything that we've already seen before. So if you hold on to those pieces, you're going to see them cycled through in the upcoming fashion shows and what have you. And then you'll feel, okay, I'm still on trend. I see them, but you're not buying into these trends. The next one is don't wear denim on denim. This was something that I was always told growing up and everything like don't wear denim on the denim. And when you saw people wearing denim on denim, you're like, oh my gosh, fashion victim. Like no one does that. It's all about how you do it. Mix the colors, wear a lighter with a darker. I just think it looks just really cool and up level. Think about Ralph Lauren. They do this all the time and then they accessorize or maybe you put on a certain scarf or you put a jacket over your shoulders. I mean, there's a lot of ways to interpret the denim on denim. It doesn't have to look like you're in head to toe denim, but I, I love this look. I think that it's a really interesting way everybody interprets it. It's called the Texas tuxedo or the Canadian tuxedo. Is that right, ladies? I think that there was like two different ones when I was researching. Let me know in the comments below. Did I get that wrong? <laughs> I hope I didn't, but I just love this look and I say, go for it. Always match your shoes to your bag. Now I find this to be hard sometimes when you're not really getting the exact color. And I tend to not want to be super matchy matchy. I know this goes along with the matching your nails with your, your outfits or your accessories or matching your lipstick with your bag or with your shoes. I mean, it can get like really taxing if you are trying to match everything. I'm all about mixing it up. Do I think it's wrong per se to match your belts with your shoes? No, I don't think that there's anything wrong. I think that sometimes it really pulls a look together. You have a belt and you have a, a shoe 
or you have a belt in the bag that, that are the same color. It really looks nice. I just think that if you say you always have to be matching your bag with your heels or your shoes, I think that you're going to run into a problem because I think you're going to be in this cycle of kind of cookie cutter and always matchy matchy. And I say, switch it up. Not to say you can't do that, but switch it up and don't feel that you have to be stuck in that box. And my last tip is don't wear brown and black together. I think that's crazy. It's the same as brown and navy. I love this combination together. I think it's very interesting because it's so slight. Sometimes I'm like, is this brown or is this black? And I've always mixed those together. I think that they look beautiful. I think that it creates interest. It's not just all black or it's not brown. I mean, I'm not really into browns because of obviously my gray hair, but if I put it in with black or if I put in a navy with a brown, I can do it. I can pull it off. So I love this. I say, break the rules. I say, anytime they say to not do something, I'll do it because I just want to be defiant and I just want to see if I can do it. And I do it a lot with fashion. I do push it and some things do work. Some things don't work. I just recently showed you an outfit that really perplexed me on Instagram. You know, when you think about an outfit in your mind and you're like, oh, I'm going to pair those pants with this top it works, right? And so then I hadn't tried it on and I was filming and I thought it's going to work. So it was these Carolina Herrera sequin pants. And then I had on this white button down Carolina Herrera top, but the arms were like very billowy. And then it had cutouts of a heart with the sequins on it, like rhinestone. So I was like, oh, it'll kind of pull it together with the pants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like so perplexed. I was like, why isn't this working? Like, what's wrong? I think the, the arms are too big or it's not the right top to be wearing with sequin pants. I think the sequin pants are a little too big. Remember, I buy everything on consignment. I knew the pants were a little big, but I thought I could, I thought I could push it and get away with it before taking it to the tailor. But I put it on and I was like, it's so perplexing right now. Like I am having a really hard time narrowing down what the issue is. So not everything works, but the fun part is experimenting with it and putting it on and then making the, the judgment. And I'm telling you, this is my one of my number one tips when it comes to style. Take a picture of yourself or video yourself so you can see it back through the camera because sometimes I'll be like, this looks amazing. And then I'll see it on camera and I'll be like, this looks terrible. This, does, this doesn't even look like I thought it was going to look. Do that when you're in a dressing room, when you're shopping, because that's going to help you not make all of these mistakes. You see it through the camera, you take pictures. I did that with my wedding dress. I thought certain things looked amazing. And then I took a photo and I thought, this is not what I'm seeing in the mirror. Like this is not good. And it really helped me to pick the right dress. So those are some of my tips. Those are some of the worst advice that I've had. And I always like love to break it. I love bringing you these types of videos so I can have you getting outside the box, pushing it, not saying, well, this is what they say, or the magazine said this, or YouTube said this, do what you want to do. Ladies embrace your fashion at any age, embrace experimenting with different patterns or different textures or different colors mixed together. And don't, don't listen to anyone. Listen to yourself and how you want to see your style in 2024. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.